Hey, uh, this is a Leo at the lead time. In today's video, I wanna show you, you use a dry flower to do the distillation and I'm comparing with the flower has been soaked in water uh, after 20, 12 hours. And I see if the soaking can help increase the essential oil production and uh, shortening the distillation time. I'm using the dry lavender buds and this one has been soaked in uh, one liter of uh, uh, filtered water with uh, 10 gram of salt. Uh, this has been soaked for over 12 hours. They both have the same equal amount of uh, the dry flour, the all 100 gram. I'm going to use LT3000 to do the distillation one by one. Uh, my distillation time will be managed the same for each one. It will be about 40 minutes. I'm gonna start with the dry flour. This is, a, as I said, this is 100 gram of the dry flour. So actually the column can take more than 100 gram, um, but just for easy uh, measure, I use 100 gram. I use the cover to put it on the top. This is good to help us stop any uh, very light particles to flow out of the column during the distillation. Always use the filtered water uh, at least to remove the chlorine because some of the area they may have very strong chlorine smell. Uh, that's not good for the distillation. This is a two liter pot. Always fill up to the edge. This is the max level. Twist the column onto the pot. Put the lid on. Um, by using the LT3000, everything you just hand tighten. That will be good enough. Now I'm gonna put the pipe So to set up the circulation, you always test the water flow before you turn on the distillation. Um, I plug in the water pump. When the cooling water works properly, I turn on the heat and I keep the same setting. Also today, I'm going to use a oil and a hydrosol separator. Uh, with a lavender, uh, you can expect to get an oil. And this uh, little device can help uh, separate the oil and the water based on their density. The so oil will flow on the top, and the water, the called a hydrosol, will stay at the bottom. So now I gotta start my timer, 40 minutes. So here you can see the oil is floating on the top of the hydrosol. So now the first 20 minutes have passed. Uh, I'm going to take, uh, I'm gonna switch this out. What I'm going to do is I gotta uh, leave some samples and the rest I'll put in the storage bottle. So here uh, I have uh, a two pieces of paper. Uh, one is uh, uh, record the dry, uh, the hydrosol or essential oil collected from the dry flour. And the other one is uh, soaked. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I gotta pour 
some of the hydrosol into this bottle. So you can see the beautiful uh, milky color. Uh, that means this is hydrosol is very good. <clears throat> and the rest I gotta put in this uh, storage bottle. Now there are three more minutes to go. Uh, my cup is almost full, so I gotta replace it. I gotta do the same thing. I gotta get a sample from this uh, second uh, cup. And I put it side by side so you can see the difference. Um, so the first uh, half, 30, 20 minutes is obviously more milky, but the second batch is not bad. It's, it's, it's still uh, milky. That means it uh, has a uh, very good stuff in it. Okay, my alarm is on. I gotta turn off. So here's the oil. You can see there's a little bit yellow and uh, but it's very clear. I'm going to use this measure to see how much oil there. So the height is uh, about five millimeter. So I'm gonna write down on my book, dry oil. Five millimeter. You are super hot. To uh, take a look. So most of them are still like dry. That's uh, very normal for the steam distillation. I gotta put the soaked uh, lavender into this uh, column. Squeeze the water out. I wanna show you how much flour already in the column. If you remember what it was with the dry flour, uh, this one obviously has more volume because after soaking the flour kind of opened up. Uh, hopefully this can this is a good news for the distillation. Uh, also, I want to show you the water after soaking. It's a black dark color, uh, but interesting. There's no like a strong lavender smell. It's mostly like a dirt smell. I replace the water into the pot. I'm gonna put the column on that. So I put the cover on the lid. 
Okay. Now the display coming out, so I can turn on my 40 minutes timer. After the first 20 minutes, you can see that's how much oil I get. And I got a lot of uh, hydrosol. Um, going to take a sample. I gotta put in this uh, soaked, uh, the bottle one. Okay. So now, it's a milky, but not that milky. Um, let's compare with uh, dry. So when I put my hands behind that, you can see the difference. So obviously the dry is uh, very milky. And this one, not that much. So that makes sense. You get a less oil and your hydrosol is not that milky. Okay, gotta continue another uh, 20 minutes. Gonna come back to compare the whole thing. So it's time uh, to stop this one. After the second 20 minutes, uh, you can see how much oil. It looks like uh, much less than the dry flour. So I gotta switch off this hydrosol. So you can see uh, the color of a hydrosol. It's interesting, these two were quite similar with each other. Oil you uh, got from uh, the soaked uh, lavender flour. I gotta measure how high the oil is. So the oil is like um, three millimeter. With the dry flour, it was a uh, five millimeter. It's less. Now uh, you can see the, the difference. This is a dry flour and this is a soaked. See the soak is uh, obviously uh, less. Obviously less than the dry flour. And also let's take a look at the hydrosol. I'm gonna line up. On the right, these two bottles is from the soaked and this from the dry. It's also clear. Yeah, this is more most milky. This is the second. And this is the least. These two uh Kind of a close to each other. I still say this one is more milky. Today I show you the comparison between using the dry flour and a batch of the flour after soaking for 12 hours. Uh, it's obviously dry flour give us more essential oil and a more milky hydrosol compared with the soaked uh, the flour. Even the after soaking, we do see the flour kind of opened up and uh, take more volume than the dry flour. But it's interesting. Um, it it makes the whole uh, yield and a distillation process is uh, weaker than the dry flour. Hopefully you learned something today and uh, like the video and share the video with your friends and leave comments or questions at the bottom. I will answer your questions. 
and see you next time.